Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to give everyone a new garden update. We're not all done. No, not yet. So, uh, the uh, snap peas are doing awesome. Can't wait for those guys to start producing. They taste amazing. I have a lot more plants this year than I did last year, so I should get lots of those. I noticed the, uh, the Swiss chard is growing pretty well. Our Brussels sprouts are uh, doing okay. Nice big leaves now. Uh, tomatoes and plants are still hanging on. I noticed some growth last night. Uh, they seem to be coming back. Uh, I'm gonna pile up some dirt and give it some more uh, boogie brew uh, compost tea today. Um, we noticed that these turnips never really made it. They, uh, they were, I noticed they were bolting yesterday. Um, so I decided to pull them and take a look. Really wasn't much to it, so we're just going to compost those. These guys seem to be hanging on okay. And uh, over here uh, is the collards. And uh, these little lettuces, this little lettuce pack thing I bought wasn't very good, but these little lettuces, you'll notice they're all starting up, coming up here. Oh yeah, is that so? Bubbles. Yeah, bubbles, yep. Yeah. Uh, the beans over here, these were ones that I actually let go from uh, last year. These are seeds that I grew from last year, so pretty happy that that's growing back pretty strong. There's a couple of those uh, coming up over there too. These lettuce heads are just huge. I mean, this I've, I haven't been able to produce a real lettuce head like this before, but these things are going to come out looking amazing. Uh, the herb bed has got a couple of little herbs coming in. Nothing too special. You'll uh, you'll see over here we finished off building this this extra bed back here, and this is uh, ten foot by a foot and a half. We're uh, just planted out basically a bunch of the uh, remaining starters we kind of had in the porch. We but there's Brussels sprouts, there's tomato, there's eggplant, there's a couple of peppers. Uh, and then the two hardy kiwi plants are the ones on these, uh, the big ones on the end there and over here. And then next to that there's some potatoes and some stevia, some mint. Uh, and then over here, as you remember, the strawberries are still coming along. They're doing well since I put up the netting. Onions are growing in well. Look at the size of our little corns already here. Today I'm going to be planting out the rest of the uh, other batch. Oh, that whole other area over there. But I counted a, almost uh, a little over 20 corn plants coming up in this front half. So that leaves me a lot of space left. That means I can at least double it. I think it's more than double. But uh, the kale's doing great. Just ordered my dehydrator today. I'm hoping, or yesterday, I'm hoping that uh, to make some kale chips, that'll be great. Um, and then the bok choy. We figured we're gonna we're gonna pull some of these because it's getting a little crowded. Um, so I'm gonna pull one of those. The um, these snap peas are doing awesome as well. These uh, these peas uh, were a bush style, but I had to put the um, the little sticks just to give them something to grab onto because they were really just getting a crowded mess on the ground but you'll notice they love it they're, they're reaching for the sky now and they're doing wonderful uh, my sunflowers here are doing great you get tons of those oh yeah <laughs> you get tons of those little sunflowers popping up uh, let's see and then down on this side I transplanted uh, all the watermelons I could from inside and we uh, seeded, direct seeded a bunch of them as well. So we have a lot of watermelon plants going here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. All right, all right. So obviously some of these are not going to make it because there is not enough space. This thing is this is just going to be overcrowded as it is but it's always good to let them get started let them grow out see which ones don't make it in case there's another squirrel attack or something but uh 
Beside that, we do again continue on over this side, and I have some of these uh, cucumbers. Uh, it's a lemon cucumber, and uh, I'm not sure what that is. We're, we're I planted some other vegetables out in the back end of this, but I, I was not paying attention when I was uh, finishing it up. I was just trying to finish that day. But the broccoli's doing great. We got some nasturtium coming up around it. Uh, they're great companion plants. I actually believe that it makes the broccoli taste better. And uh, so I also have a Brussels sprout over here. And you'll see the potatoes and the, um, some more Swiss chard, the celery. The uh, blueberry bush is doing okay. The These guys, the sunchokes, are doing awesome. I mean, these are just little tumors that are planted in the bottom of this bucket here. And uh, I just put a little dirt. And then uh, when I get some more dirt, I'm going to put some more dirt in and kind of fill up the bucket like I do with the potatoes. And uh, we'll see how many we get. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, appreciate it. Say, all done, Zavi.